It's through the arts that we're able to hear, feel, and see things from an entirely new perspective. Artistic pursuits light a fire in both the creators and those on the receiving end of their art. So how does one build upon a creative passion and embark on a career fueled by that passion? Some might say those flames can be stoked through higher education opportunities like this. At Missouri State University within the Judith Enyart Reynolds College of Arts and Letters, we have three arts programs, the Department of Music, which is an all Steinway school, the Department of Art and Design, as well as the Department of Theater and Dance. We also have four academic programs in the letters. Our students, they're exposed to an affordable education and they work in state-of-the-art facilities, in state-of-the-art labs, in state-of-the-art performing venues. It's just a tremendous place to learn and we feel like we really have a secret here in the Ozarks. Our students are trained with industry professionals because we believe that our students deserve the best equipment as well as the best faculty out there. I moved to New York when I was 18 years old and for 11 and a half years I trained and worked and grew and made my Broadway debut in 2000. Behind all of the lights and the fun and the marquee, there's a lot of hard work. Training is an extremely important component. And for me, acting is serious fun. There's specific training techniques that can help us be free and be playful. Then the arts and letters component is how do we become well-rounded individuals and our own personal growth. Getting that larger perspective on the world around us and other cultures, other societies, the way just understanding, developing that sense of empathy, studying the arts and letters and getting a liberal arts education is a huge component of that, to becoming a well-rounded, rich individual who can bring your full self to every role you play. When I think about the benefits of arts and letters education, clearly our students are given extra confidence they have critical thinking skills. They truly are educated citizens who are prepared to go and work across industries and across the world. So when I think of students who have performed in tent theater or who go on and work in professional contexts or on Broadway, that does something really special for our alumni, but also our Missouri State uh, University community across the world. Music has the power to stir our souls and to connect us no matter where we are. The choir here knows just how powerful a performance like this can be beyond the university's stage. In a time where we've spent so much time apart, and, and isolated in, in our homes. Um, music is something that has brought us back together collectively and we've been able to share that joy and that spirit um, with, with others. So much of our art, you know, we do so much work in rehearsal and everything, preparing music and everything, all the technical elements, but the performance side of music is the, the best part in getting to be in the same room with people just for a moment, it just happens once. It's a way for people to come together and to appreciate one another. Music and performing in a world like this is a way for us to heal and uh, come together and accept one another. The Missouri State University Choral Program is a comprehensive program and includes the MSU Chorale that has traveled all over Europe, Africa, and Asia and throughout the United States. In 2016, we were selected to perform at the presidential inauguration. As an all-Steinway school, we are certainly committed to bringing the absolute best experience to our student population. This school is one that is entirely student focused. Every single concern from the faculty and the administration comes with the students in mind. Uh, and that is demonstrated through our facilities and certainly through our purchase of the Steinway pianos. Alum and Hollywood star John Goodman keeps close ties with the university and as such is involved with the development of a theater that will bear his name, scheduled to open in spring of 2022. It's a amphitheater that's also an instructional space, so it's an opportunity for us to have comedians, jazz festivals, all sorts of events that benefit, of course, our students on campus, but the entire community. During sort of an uncertain time as we look forward into the future, I think that when we think of agility, adaptability, cultural competency, ethical leadership, 
and community engagement, those are all things that are the essence of an arts and letters education at Missouri State University. Our mission at Missouri State is really focused on public affairs. We have really focused in the arts and letters in particular of creating a destination arts college. And it begins with facilities like Ellis Hall, like the John Goodman Amphitheater under construction, like Brick City for our art department. To have the best facilities coupled with the best teachers means great students come from all over the state, all over the region, all over the world to study here because it's an experience like no other. And it's also very affordable. For the last quarter century, we've been trying to develop really a focus on being engaged in your community, ethical leadership, and cultural competence. To schedule a tour and to learn more about enrollment, visit MissouriState.edu.